the perfect place to come. Perfect day trip from KL City as well. We're apparently on top of like a, like a, on top of something. At this stage, like I'm getting a little panicky if I'm very honest. It feels like we just sort of stepped into Las Vegas or something. Sweaty, hot, humid. This is crazy. What's going on guys? So today we are going to the Genting Highlands, a little bit of a day trip. And we're currently trying to figure out how to access the gondola or the cable cars. We're with our good friends, Makini and Kat from the US once again. And we're making our way now into what looks like the area that where you need to be getting the gondola. So let's go see what we can get up to today. Genting Highlands is a very highly recommended place. A lot of you guys have been telling us to go there. And that's the reason why we're going there. So let's go and check it out. There's more coming. <laughs> There's so many different things. Hello. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Why are they running? They're both so excited that they keep running away from us. <laughs> Look how far <laughs> this. You can't even see her anymore. <laughs> she was like spitting on salad. <laughs> we have our tickets for the gondola now. We're just making our way to them and uh, very excited to check out Genting Highlands. Not sure how far up these uh, highlands are, but it's nice to get a fresh breeze, a good change in temperature. Have a look at this. They have a, they said that they have two different types of gondolas and yeah. one of them has a glass floor. Oh, a glass like floor. A, you'd probably don't. I would be terrified of but a glass floor. But I would love floor. a glass floor gondola. Oh my <laughs> God. I think they're all, they all look like they have a solid floor. Yeah, yeah. From here. Anyways, guys, another adventure. Let's see. It's supposedly around 10 minutes to get up there. And um, how much were the tickets? That's what I just wanted to say for the return ticket. So both ways, it's 18 ringgits per person. So a little over three euro for one person. <laughs> That's really, really it's affordable. Really good, yeah. It's one of the most affordable gondolas we've taken, I think, since we started traveling. Yeah, 100%. Usually they, usually they run anywhere from like 20 to 30 euro in other countries. Oh yeah, true, true, even true. Even in Turkey, we paid way more. Turkey was more, even in, um, in Albania, Albania, it was, was also, more. Albania was 20 euro, yeah. Yeah, so this is very affordable. Look at Kat, she's like a child. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> yes, girl, come on. <laughs> I needed to start the camera. Oh, I hit my head. <laughs> oh. I needed to start a camera. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> camera, <laughs> camera. <laughs> Nearly missed the jondola. The jondola. Oh yeah. Sure. Okay, peace. Smile, one day. One more meal. We're gonna camera, one day. Have a nice day. I'm gonna try and sell you the photo at the top. Yeah. Exactly. Try to make it a little hard. And then we're gonna wait to the top. Someone's gonna pop up. Yeah, yeah. What am I gonna do? You can only use your return ticket if you buy the picture. <laughs> oh, it's a ah! oh. oh my god. Oh my gosh, this makes me want to throw up a little bit. <laughs> I won't know. Oh no. We have that on camera. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is cool. This is so cool. Oh, I feel like a kid again. Oh, there's like a, they should make it louder if they want people to see. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cool. The higher up we get, the more clouds there are now. That is an ob obvious statement there. But some of the clouds actually do not look too friendly. Oh look, there's the stairs if you have a look there. Some of it do look like it's gonna start raining soon. Um, but down there in the valley, you have that is beautiful. Very nice weather. That's insane. Oh, are we gonna get up here? That's the quickest yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Do we go up? Oh, it goes up yeah. more. It goes up more. Oh, no, after. it turns around. Oh, it does. Does it turn around or does it go up more? I can't I think this, this is for this the is temple, the station. No? Yeah, this is yeah. for the temple. It okay. can go up more, I think. Yeah. Ready? So you gotta get up. Uh, Chin Sui. Uh -huh. Wow. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. 
Terima kasih. Okay, so first stop today is going to be the Chin Sui Buddhist Temple. This is supposedly the stop that we have to get off, so let's go and check it out. Make our way there. The get views, it, it. Whoop, whoop. the views all along have been crazy. <laughs> really <laughs> cool. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Chin Sui. Chin Sui. <laughs> so this stop here at the Chin Sui Temple is actually included in the cable car ride, so you can hop off. It's about midway between the Havana bus terminal um, and Genting Highlands. So you can just get off at the middle and then you go and check out a really interesting looking temple or from what it looks like, really interesting from above. And uh, right now we're making our way down toward, hello, making our way down towards the temple itself. Luckily, it's a beautiful day. It's not very, like not totally clear. There are some clouds, but weather wise, it's absolutely perfect. Let's go and explore. Oh, and there's actually a ton of stairs over to the left of these escalators, but luckily they place these escalators here so we don't have to take the stairs. Even though the temperature would be nice enough to actually take the stairs, it's quite cold up here. And this morning I thought I wasn't gonna bring a jacket, but uh, yeah, do bring a jacket. Oh, it's yeah, fresh. So welcome to the Chin Sui Cave Temple. This beautiful tower here behind us. Um, to be honest, no idea what sort of history is behind this temple. I just know that it's Buddhist um, and it's very beautiful. We are quite literally surrounded by gorgeous nature, the Genting Highlands, total green paradise all around here and uh, this temple is very picturesque very gorgeous there's going to be a lot of photo opportunities here for sure what is that this poor guy i don't know i think it might be a dragon lion sort of thing oh yeah um, every about two to three minutes we can hear the firecrackers in the distance so uh, I do think there's, that there's some religious ceremony going on at the moment and uh, yeah there's some smoke coming up right now so I do think uh, the closer we get we're probably gonna see what's actually happening down there what I was what I wanted to say the little heads that are like whatever dragon or lion or whatever they're supposed to be it sort of looks like this is uh, their tongue yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it looks like it tongue. comes out of their mouth. It's very interesting. What, what is he? Maybe, maybe he's a dragon. It's either a dragon or it's supposed to be like one of those like evil deities or evil spirits or something uh, like that. No, I don't think so. Why would they put an evil deity or evil spirit or whatever into a temple? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is just getting increasingly more and more. It's very cool. Um, Expected to be Chinese. Very Chinese, yeah. It's oh. really close, yeah. I don't think we have it. We didn't see it when we came out. Careful with the bonsai, don't walk into it. It's a very colorful, very typical Chinese little house. Right? This is beautiful. I never saw one of these in real life before. Up here, the entire setting of this beautiful temple is so, so special. Like, check this out. Oh my god, you have a beautiful Buddha just sitting there and uh, everything is so so colorful here and then here you can see all of these beautiful colorful dragons on the roof with this absolutely stunning backdrop of nature and mountains and so on and uh, you have loads and loads of swallows up here which is absolutely incredible yeah this um this entire setting up here is just so so special and uh very different again um it's not that far from kuala lumpur it's like how long did it take us to get up here like an hour maybe an hour and a half not even it was like literally around i want to say 45 minutes yeah. to, to one hour we got on the bus we were chatting with our friends and then we arrived here and we were like 
That was really there quick. Was, it was so fast and yeah. uh, it's again it's so so different. That's the thing that I find very interesting about Malaysia is uh, you don't have to drive very far to see a completely different landscape, very very different culture or um, people that are from different sort of beliefs or ethnicity and so on. So it's, it's very interesting and uh, this place is just very special. Tell you what guys, if you are planning on visiting Genting Islands make sure to stop off at the Chin Sui temple. This place is absolutely gorgeous. The whole surroundings, this whole area in general is just really something else. And I keep saying that about different parts of Malaysia, but I need to really drive this one home. This place is out of this world. Just absolutely gorgeous. Have a look at this. so quiet it's just the perfect place to come perfect day trip from KL city as well so affordable to do this I think we're gonna spend probably around another half an hour or so exploring around this temple maybe more and then we're gonna make our way up to Genting Highlands I saw that there's two different temples from what it looks like so uh, there's this first one here which you can see where all of the fireworks are going off the entire time and then you have the tower over there, which is, I believe, also a temple. I'm not 100%, but I do think we should probably visit both. I can't get over the, the roads below, the winding roads through the greenery. It's literally like something out of a Hollywood movie. Out of the places that we've been spending time over the last two years of travel, I think Malaysia is up there with the best countries for natural beauty. This place is crazy right now we are quite literally standing below this beautiful stone statue of buddha like come on have you seen the size of it <laughs> you want naomi for comparison i'm probably not even in the picture anymore <laughs> nope it's so massive it was so sad that i because i have so many incense at, uh, at home but you can get some incense here as well for a little donation, let's just take two. There you go. Let's uh, try and give an offering. Okay. So you light them. It's a better tree. Hmm? Tree, 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 tree. I have to. T I have to take three. Oh, okay. <laughs> Other side. <laughs> I just wanted two. <laughs> yeah, you should take three. I just took two. I did it wrong. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> now what you see people do is doing this. Maybe praying, giving offering, and then putting them into this. You gotta find a spot that's very crowded. Okay, I'm gonna go to the back. Because I can reach in the back. Huh? Yeah. That was nice. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Little offering for the temple and for Buddha. Very, very special. But you know what else is special? This is the first <laughs> temple that we've been to, temple, that has a Starbucks. I don't know if you can see that over in the distance. Underneath one of the buildings, there's a full-on Starbucks. I didn't expect it at all. We were laughing <laughs> really out loud when we walked past and we saw the Starbucks logo. Maybe you can see the Starbucks logo now. Yeah. If you walk around a little bit. Um, yeah, they have a full-on Starbucks under the temple. So who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I understand why it's called a journey to enlightenment. So the sign over there says that um, it's basically teaching um, traditions, morals, and ethics, and so on, and um, how to get a good karma from what I just <laughs> understood there. So this is basically just for um, generations to come, to keep the tradition and to just um, remember basically what exactly the path to enlightenment entails and this is gonna depict it. So we just got ourselves two new bracelets and uh, Luke got one that is for good fortune, which looks um, sort of red with a little bit of this like uh, brass type of coin on the top. And Beautiful. I got one um, that 
is, stands for six different things, um, such as inviting wealth into your life, um, avoiding disaster, prosperity. Uh, prosperity, all of these good things. And uh, these are our first Malaysia bracelet, right? It's kind of Malaysia merging with China type of uh, bracelet. In each and every country, we usually buy a bracelet. So this is our first one for a Malaysia. And now we walked all the way to the bottom of the very long looking tower, which you cannot see from now, but I'm sure we're going to show you some other images of what the tower looks like from the outside. Um, and we're just about to go in. I believe you have to walk all the way up. So let's see how many steps there are on the inside. The stairs are no joke. Well, I think we're almost at the top of this tower. Wow, sweaty, hot, humid. Really grateful for the cold air right about now. Yeah. Cannot imagine this in like 30 something degrees. This is crazy. I can't wait to see the views though from the top of here. And we made it to the top. No, we did not die halfway. I want to say it was a close call. Very close <laughs> call. Wow. Yeah, but from up here, you can see the clouds again that I was worried about. <laughs> this is incredible. Wow. Yeah. I'm quite literally speechless, to be honest. It's so beautiful, and uh, you just have this magnificent view over nearly nothing but green you can see a little bit of a village down there but uh, that's about it yeah it's next level stunning wow oh it's a glass oh oh it's glass wow oh, oh damn <laughs> oh my god this is glass it's grass! It's grass! <laughs> it's grass! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to record some nice Instagram stories, but um, I don't know, it's not, it's not so high directly below you. So even though you have that glass feature at the bottom, it doesn't look so high. Um, but if you look that way, very high. <laughs> yeah. yep. But it's still cool to be oh, able oh, to see. We're shaking. <laughs> oh, we shaking. We're like shaking. <laughs> oh, there's butterfly. Nice I love it. We have science, we have culture, history, and we're going wow, look at that. Maybe this. I have to say though, the gondola with the glass wow. floor is a lot cooler than the other one, and I do prefer this oh one, God, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but on the way really back, cool, on the way back, this would be a good. Yeah. That's a drone shot right there. Yeah. Love it. Insane. The Maybe we are. Ah! Oh my god, are we good? I think we're good! <laughs> Just topped off the cable car and we arrived in this absolutely massive mall. Just have a look at this. This is out of this world. I really want to go ride a roller coaster. And then obviously this is just one small part of the Genting Highlands. We are way up in the mountains right now. We're in a mall. There's a 7-Eleven over there. There's loads of restaurants. There's loads of different things that you can be doing. Wow, this is blowing us away. Just this one cable car ride between the Chin Suite cave temples and now this, crazy. So this is apparently known, the, uh, known as the Skytropolis Indoor Theme Park. They have a massive casino here. They have an entire resort as well called Genting Worlds Resort. And then you also have Genting Highlands, which is a lot of nature, a lot of beautiful hotels. I believe there's even a haunted hotel as well. This place is huge. And now we're currently looking for something to eat because we haven't eaten yet today. Yes, please. Does give a little bit of a Las Vegas vibe to it here. Um, yeah, but it's it's crazy. I didn't expect something like this up here. Yeah. 
inside the Skytropolis theme park, this is just a whole different level of what we even could have imagined that we would be experiencing today. Talk about a contrast between the temple that we were at earlier, the beautiful natural beauty, and then come into a place like this. This is really crazy. It's unlike something that I've ever experienced in my life, to be honest. Oh, and there is so many people. This is wild. I was laughing, but I didn't see that there was bubbles coming, so I nearly went like full open mouth into the <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> Thank God I saw it. Uh, this is absolute madness. There's so much happening. It's so loud, it's colorful, it's vibrant. Uh, yeah, we're currently trying to find the exit of this thing, but we don't know where to go. <laughs> we want to go and see the like the actual nature of Genting Highlands. But this place is legitimately never ending. A never ending wonderland of just absolute madness. So it's very weird. It's legitimately impossible to leave this place. We have been asking for like the last 30 minutes I want to say going up and down escalators following people's instructions there is no way of leaving this place and every time somebody sends us somewhere there's a new way to spend money basically um, it's at this day like I'm getting a little panicky if I'm very honest uh, I'm kind of struggling here we asked security guards and they literally just told us to go up in levels and they said you'll have a nice view of the nature but we we're don't trying want to, to get outside. This is crazy. We, we just want to be outside. We don't want just a view. I don't know. And it's also really loud and really colorful. And there's a lot of lights everywhere you go. So you have a like permanent overflow of the senses um, while trying to figure out how to get out of here. Uh, yeah, it's starting into a little bit of a night. It's, it's converting into a nightmare, I want to say. You know? It's like a nightmare. It's a good, it's a good nightmare. Yeah, not negative, but... When like, we get outside, it's gonna be better. Yeah, let's, let's find the happy end. We made it outside the crazy resort. And um, it's nice and chilly outside. It's beautiful, very foggy. Very nice climate here, but we're apparently on top of like a, like a, on top of something. Uh, there's no view because it's so foggy, but we still have genuinely no idea how to get to like the actual Genting Highlands area. I think we're literally on top of like the, the mall itself right now. And there's like a, a hotel here on the top too. But uh, maybe if we just make our way down to the bottom, we're going to find out. But the weather seems to be taking a turn for the worst because it's very overcast. It's very foggy, as you can probably see behind me, guys. So we're going to continue to explore. We don't know what we're going to see, but let's go. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> it's kind of spooky. The fog, everything like that. It adds like a whole different dimension. Um, like I was saying earlier, there's this hotel that's called Amber Court. We're currently basically just looking for that. It's supposed to be very haunted. Rumored to be haunted. A lot of the Genting Highlands is supposed to be relatively haunted. or ha A lot of ghost stories co came out of the Genting Highlands. But uh, yeah, I have no idea to be honest. We're gonna just keep exploring around here. Welcome to Amber Court, Genting Highlands. We're gonna be doing a little bit, I think, of urban exploration today. Ghostbusters, yeah? Who are you gonna call? <laughs> Ghostbusters! So this is the supposed haunted and it looks very spooky, I'm not gonna lie, but I think there's quite a few people that are actually staying here. <sighs> it's pretty creepy though. I think um, in the beginning we thought it was a, sort of like an abandoned hotel or something like that, but from, like, from this point of view, it seems a little bit more like it's apartments for people that want to rent monthly. Yeah. 
So uh, yeah, there is some stuff going on. There's a KK Mart and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and a restaurant in there as well. And it's very funny. We're just allowed to walk around here. We just asked the security guards and they said, yeah, sure, walk around. Yeah. So yeah, we're just going to see what happens. Seems to be split between two towers, if you can see. So you've got one here and then one over on this side as well. I think it's more so like the fog that makes it look creepy. Maybe it's not creepy at all. It's just the vibe. There's a KK Mart over here, just behind me. So. That definitely takes away a lot of the creepy atmosphere. And this uh, looks like some sort of a lobby area. It's totally empty. <laughs> First I thought it was durian, but now I'm not sure. Okay, so. Oh. He doesn't want me to shoot video. We're currently exploring this building a little bit more. And uh, we found an elevator, so why not go up? The smell is absolutely horrible. I need a car, you need a car, you need a car. You need a car. So we made our way back outside because we got trapped in the elevator because you need a card to get up and um, these are like monthly rental apartments. I genuinely was thinking that this is like a, like a hotel, maybe it's like half and half, but um, we're making our way now to the parking lot area just to have a wander around basically. Guys, I cannot stress this enough, the smell when we walked inside that place nearly knocked me out it was hardcore very very strong smell but uh let's go inside car park bum, 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 bum. haunted or not haunted we obviously don't know because we have only been spending a very very little amount of time here but i do feel like um there's a lot of uh, history and a lot of like cotton balls <laughs> built around the story of the Amber Court especially because it looks very haunted so when you approach this building you see the two towers and they're obviously like surrounded by fog and it's like a very old building um, I don't know just looking around I want to say like maybe 1960s 70s something like that so it's a very old building and it's not necessarily fully inhabited so it's a relatively empty foggy building in the middle of nowhere in the mountainside and I think um, that also probably adds to the story of it being haunted but yeah overall nevertheless uh, since we're here like you do get a little bit of a weird vibe like something is definitely off but is it because of the people that are here or is it because of spirits I don't know <laughs> yep vibes are not very positive in this um, area not, I can't say the same in actual Genting Highlands around the casino, around the mall, around all this. That's very, very positive. And Genting Highlands in general has really shocked us. It is such a beautiful place. This was just like a little additional task or place that we wanted to come and tick off our list because we heard about this place so many times on so many different forums and stuff like that. But um, yeah. I don't think that this place is very much haunted or anything like that. Just a little bit of a creepy vibe going on. 